Monday. Now, it's Wednesday, January 7th. I'm chewing gum, so. Um, good morning, guys. I did not have school today because it's snow all on the roads. I'm watching Supergirl and just doing nothing all day, so what a great snow day. But yeah, this vlog is starting off really, really late in the week just because I didn't really have anything I was doing. But Silent Night is tomorrow, which is like a, a thing that they do at the road school where you can't cheer, clap, make any noise at the basketball game until the team has like 20 or 10 points. So that's tomorrow. And yeah, I'm going to watch the show now. Bye. Okay, right, so we are off again. So my mom is going to clean my room. So time up. <laughs> Check the date. <laughs> um, I'm talking to me and editing. Alright, guys, so it's Friday. Fr fr okay, guys, so it's Friday. I am. Oh, bad lighting. I'm, bad, I'm in bad lighting. But other than that, I need to film today. I don't know what to film, though. I seriously have no idea what I'm filming. I have all of these video ideas and no idea which ones I'm gonna do. Hello, this is not the person you were trying to call. You've reached the rejection hotline. Unfortunately, the person who gave you this rejection hotline number did not want you to have their real number. We know this sucks, but don't be too devastated. So why were you given a rejection hotline number? Maybe you're just not this person's type. Note, this could mean boring, dumb, annoying, arrogant, or just a general weirdo. Maybe you suffer from bad breath, body odor, or a nasty combination of the two. Maybe you just give off that creepy, overbearing, psycho stalker vibe, and the idea of going out with you just seems as appealing as playing leapfrog with unicorns. Regardless of the reason, please take the hint. Accept the fact that you're rejected, and then get over it. And please do your best to forget about the person who gave you this number because trust us, they've already forgotten about you. GamerHotline.com. <laughs> That's sponsored terrible, by yo. Is it really expensive, I bet? It, it's so they you can tell really good. you can tell your viewers. Yeah. It's on your wish list. <laughs> Got this squishy. I will show it to you guys later, like after. So in the after out of the plastic. I got this panda face mask that came with three. No one cares. Isn't that what you do to me? No yeah. one cares. Because... Anyway, wait, no, I already had that. <laughs> My bad. Who's connected? Me or you? You. Neither one of us. You, because my Bluetooth is off, so. I gotta pull off. How you gonna, you get your thing, you gonna be straight? Oh, Lord, jeez. No, we have to stay. I don't need my case thing. So I got this necklace, which I got necklaces because they keep me from messing with my fingernails during class. And I got these gummy foods, which are really, really good. Me and my brother always eat them together. I got a new pop socket for this case because I don't have one for this case. I don't have any to match for this case. So I need to get a new one. And then I got this really cute bath bomb set. I'm pretty sure they look like macaroons, but they're bath bombs, and I love bath bombs so much. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
Oh jeez. Oh jeez. you need it. No, I wanted to get a boomerang. Dang it. <laughs> okay guys, so we have my cousins Elena. Say hi. And La and Layla. Say hi. Rudy. Layla, say hi. Mm. Elena, Why get in the no middle. Say hi. Get in the middle, Bill. It's the safest it's seat in the world. And you don't have your car seat, so. You can be in the middle. Mommy, say hi. Oh, now I can see both on. Hey! Ashley, say what hi. What do you have going with? Hello. I can't, I didn't. I can't. No. You know what? Hey, Layla, that's my game. I got grilled cheese, I ate it all, and then fries. So I got a burger at Apple Places. Oh, now she got a salad. My mom got a burger and fries. And then, oh, wait, now got um, mac and cheese. Like, subscribe, and comment down below. Love you guys. Bye.